piece of artwork. First, you need to cut out strips of black paper. Next, glue your shapes to make a grid like Mondrian. Hold your glue sideways. Make some vertical lines and some horizontal lines. Cut some strips different sizes. I'm going to stick some black squares down too. Now you're ready to paint. Pour out your primary colours, red, yellow and blue. Have some water ready to clean your brush. Mondrian used these colours, red, blue and yellow, but we're going to use secondary colours. Dip your brush to get a little bit of red. Take some yellow from the edge and mix together. Don't put your red brush right into the middle of the yellow, otherwise all of your yellow will get red and you won't be able to use it again. Now I've made orange. Decide where you want to put your orange. Try not to paint on your black line. Now my brush has got orange on it, so I need to clean it really carefully. Tickle it on the bottom, wipe it on the inside, so the water runs back down inside the cup, not on the outside. And then give it a dab to make sure your brush is clean. Now I'm going to make green. Take some yellow, a little bit of blue. Now I've made green. Decide where to paint your green. But remember, try not to paint on your black lines.
I'm only going to have one green square. Now my brush is dirty again. Tickle it on the bottom of my cup. Squeeze it against the inside. And then dab to make sure it's clean. Now I've made orange, green, now to make purple. Take some red, take some blue from the edge. Give it a little mix. Now I've made purple. Where should I paint my purple? Down here. Remember your brush is like a ballerina, always on its tippy toes. And I'm also going to put some purple here. Maybe I will put green in one more square. Go carefully. Oh no, look what happened. I didn't clean my brush. Now I've made brown. I won't do that extra green after all. And there's your, my finished Mondrian. What do you think? Now you have a go.